It is time. All right, guys, long day, and I have some uh, news. <laughs> so let's <clears throat> cut right to the chase. So I went to the emissions place. I had to get a VIN verification so they could uh, do the emissions test. And they made me um, go fill out or talk to some more people about uh, a different test because the VIN came up as a V6, which my... 86 was originally a V6, and I swapped out the V6 for the 351, which is now a 408, which now has Cleveland heads. <clears throat> so I had to call another number, talk to another technician, schedule a visit. We looked at the car. We, uh, well, let's just say that an inch and seven eighths primary tubes are hard to hide on the, uh, the head. So there was a guy that no stuff basically that uh said ixnay on the pass so we were unable to test period they, i was not able <clears throat> to test for emissions excuse me uh so there's two major reasons why i could not test uh for emissions one was because i put the heads on here are from a 71 mach 1 uh it was a cleveland engine i believe I mean, I know it was a Cleveland engine, but I don't know if it was a Mach 1 or not, but it was a 71. Uh, it was a Cleveland engine. They were four-barrel heads or four-valve heads. Um, four V heads, not four-valve heads. I guess that's confusing. But anyways, they were four-barrel heads. They all had two valves on the, the Cleveland heads. But at any rate, they said that because, uh, because I put parts from a 70 on a 86, it is federally illegal to uh, emissions tests and drive illegally in the state of Colorado, which is beyond me. Apparently, that's a federal law. I'm going to do some more research on it, but if you guys know more about it, let me know. Um, but apparently, I, I cannot even test because they're like, well, you got heads on, on this engine that are not, uh, you can't have those on here. Uh, it would have been, so I, I did have a 351 Windsor Lightning engine. That's where the block came from. If I would have left the 351 Windsor heads, <clears throat> um, I could make it, uh, if I could, I could probably make it pass as long as it was a 351 Windsor engine. Uh, the thing is that, um, what, what the, uh, 
I guess what the emissions place is telling me is that in, in Colorado where I'm at, the engine has to be um, licensed or, or basically tested as a complete package by a manufacturer. So because I put Cleveland heads on a 351 Windsor in an 86 is not something that is federally legal. So I'm going to look up some more of those uh, regulations and guidelines because I think that's crap, quite honestly. Uh, and the other thing is that my car does not have a factory ECU. So everything has to be um, carb EO legal, basically. It's got to be California emissions legal um, to be able to uh, be emissions tested. The funny thing is my supercharger's got a carb EO number on it. But, uh, I mean, everything else does too. Like, the, it is what it is. The, the heads are from an emissions vehicle. The block is from an emissions vehicle. The and every, the intake, everything, which is funny to me. My car is tuned to where, I mean, it, I can guarantee you that the emissions that this puts out is far less than any other vehicle that, you know, than, than the Cleveland, just a 351 Cleveland, or even the, the Lightning. I guarantee you that the emissions on this is a lot lower than that. I can almost guarantee you that I can tune it to be that. But it is what it is. I fought them all day. I talked to plenty of people, and I just banging my head against the wall. So I'm gonna go look at some more, uh, some more of the regulations and laws, and see if I can find some sort of a loophole. So here's some of the the Colorado laws. Anything that's newer than '76, it's either '76 or '77 or '5 something. It's one of those years. Anything newer than that is required to be emissions tested um, every two years. Unless it is titled as a collector in which you have mileage restrictions and all kinds of, you know, you can't drive this far or this many miles or whatever the heck it is. Uh, then you only have to test once every five years if you register as a collector. But that has to be, it's older than 33 years. I think my car just became a collector last year and it's an 86. So whatever that is. Um, that was the other, uh, those are the other laws in Colorado. So... I'm not sure where this puts me. I did all of the other stuff because that's what they said I, I had to have when I called them on the phone. And then, you know, I get there and they give me the runaround. So the, the, there's, <clears throat> here's the, the paperwork I got. You can see there, unable to test. And then the, uh, the section down here, which is a DR2365, this section down here is what they're, they're telling me I didn't meet the, the criteria of. So it says possible engine change and then, uh, I had to call the ETC, which is like the emissions technical center, and, and I had to talk with them, and and um, I don't know. I guess, <clears throat> so here's here's my thing. I like to be a morally right person. Uh, I don't I don't feel like, I feel like I should be able to do this the right way. I feel like if they would just put the sniffer in my car and, and test it, the emissions on it would be such, they'd be like, oh yeah, you pass, right? I don't feel like I should have to lie to them to get my car to pass emissions. It, it's just not, it's not right. I, I did so many things to my car to, to get it to pass emissions and the, you know, it is what it is. Um, there's plenty of ways around it. I'm sure the comments are going to light up with, with all kinds of stuff about that. I've looked into options of registering it somewhere else. And you know, so, so here's the thing. I, I don't, I'm not a person I don't like to lie about stupid stuff. And I, I feel like this is something stupid that I shouldn't have to lie about, right? So why should I have to lie to somebody about, oh, uh, here's a different address and register at somebody else's address? Well, then the DMV wants me to have that on my driver's license. And then I have to have utility bills stating that that's my actual address. And I, you know what? Could I do it? Yeah. Yeah, I probably could. But morally, I wouldn't feel right about it. I, it's just not, not the way I like to do things. But it is what it is. Um, I feel like there's still a way that I can make this work, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to look up some more of the the rules, regulations, laws, and see if I can't find a way to make it work. But I'll throw some clips in here. I did get to do a lot of driving in my car. It's the first time I had it on the streets in Colorado. It's pretty fun. Um, I took my kids for a ride. That was pretty awesome. I've got a couple of other videos of uh, doing the back seats. Uh, you should check that out. I did that for my kids. <laughs> this car never had a back seat, but my kids wanted to ride with me. So I'll throw some video up here. They, <laughs> they look less than amused, but got them in the car. They enjoyed the ride. That's uh, It was fun for me. It was fun for me to have them with me. But I'll throw some video up so you guys can see me driving around. I really enjoyed it. I drove it for probably three hours tonight. It was, I got 14 days. So... 
We got 14 days of temporary registration. Stay tuned for some videos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do what I can with the 14 days I got and try to get to pass missions from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you later.